I'm John Hinkle, the senior pastor of First Presbyterian Church. This is your Thursday devotion, uh, which, as you know, in all full confession, I am doing it on Wednesday uh, because my day off is Thursday. So, uh, as you know, we're in a series of sermons looking at the book of Ruth. I, I, I you know, I hope you've enjoyed it because I, I just love the book of Ruth. I, I just, there's so much there. Uh, to kind of explore and break down and take apart and 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 and, and look how it just kind of aligns in our lives um, and and we're going to look more at the Book of Ruth, but but today we're going to do something a little bit different. Today we're going to uh, look at a text in the Gospel of Matthew. So as many of you know, uh, unless you've been living under a rock, uh, COVID is back. Uh, welcome Delta variant, right? And it is, uh, it is biting us on the backside. There is no doubt about it. And, 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 you know, it of course has affected and touched members of our church. And we continue to pray not only for our church members, but we also pray for our community and talking to our healthcare workers. It is clear, um, this is, this is a serious moment in this pandemic. And, uh, I know people are disappointed. Uh, I know that uh, if you read, and we'll save it for history's sake, my uh, proclamation article for uh, August, it was called Cranking It Up, because we were talking about how we're going to come out of this pandemic, and, and we're going to crank it up, and we're, get, we're getting back to the normalcy that we remembered that we left on March 15, uh, 2020. But instead, uh, we are once again looking at numbers and infection rates and hospitalization and and it feels like Groundhog Day, only uh, different, right? And so with all of that, the reality is we can easily find ourselves in a funk. I know I am. I know there are days I've been lethargic. There are days I've just kind of struggled to make sense out of all this nonsense. And I know as a, as a leader, as a shepherd of a flock, I, there, have been, there have been moments that I have felt helpless. Like I, I want to make a decision. I want to I want to be able to move forward. I want to come up with a plan and have a purpose for what we're doing and why we're doing it. And 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 but instead, uh, I seem to just kind of be wallowing, or or in some way, in other ways, just maybe just sitting, sitting, just sitting not doing anything, not moving forward, not moving backwards. And, 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 and I don't know about you, but that, that's just frustrating for me. That's just, oh my goodness, that, that, there's nothing worse because that's not who I am as a human being. I, that's, there's so much that, that in this world that, that, that should be bringing us joy, and yet it's hard to find joy. Which got me thinking about a text. So in the Gospel of Matthew, last chapter, uh, chapter 28, uh, Jesus gives the Great Commission. Uh, you know, there's, there's right before the ascension, in, in verse 16, it says, Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee. Remember, Judas is no longer with them because uh, he, he took his own life uh, after the betrayal. But then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth have been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And I'm going to put my finger right there. So, in this moment that we find ourselves in, in, in the continuation of this pandemic. And I really hate that word. Can't wait till the time, of, uh, you know, I, I don't have to utter that word pandemic. Ugh. A couple of things are clear. First and foremost, our God is still a God who is over both heaven and earth. While it may seem that we have fallen into chaos and confusion, our God is still God. No matter what has happened. And as people of faith, as people who walk with Jesus every day, 
we not only believe it, we live it. So even in the pandemic, we are people who live by faith and not fear. And the faith is God's in control, right? God's in control. I had lunch with somebody today and we were just talking about, you know, my favorite reform theological word, providence, nothing's by chance. God's got a purpose and a reason for everything. And, and it is our job to live and lean into our faith. And then part of leaning and living into our faith is to be a witness of the gospel of Jesus Christ. In fact, Jesus said, listen, whatever is going on, you still need to make disciples, right? There are people in our community who long for what we have. Even in this pandemic, you can still live that invitational life. You can still put, bring, invite people to come to church. You can share our website with them. You can share our YouTube uh, ministry with them. Uh, you can share this devotion with them. That, that God is with you, even in all of this. And God wants you to walk with his son into this world. Go make disciples, Jesus said. And then at the end, these are the last words in the Gospel of Matthew. And Jesus said to them, and remember, I am with you even to the end of the age. I'm with you even to the end of the age. That, that no matter what is going on in our lives, no matter what is happening, no matter what we are experiencing, no matter, no matter where we are, Jesus is with us. And I just remember this week going, okay, John, that's enough sitting. That's enough wallowing. It's time to go forward. Because you go forward with Jesus. We go forward with Jesus. I hope to see you this Sunday. I know for some of you wearing a mask, you know, it's not your thing. And I don't, there's not one person in this world who likes to wear a mask. But God calls us to be in the house of the Lord. And we have to remember, worship, it's not about us. It's about us worshiping God together as a community. We'll have worship at 8, 30, and 11. Again, no Sunday school uh, but do know that the New Beginning Task Force, along now with the new Reemergence Task Force, will be meeting and kind of plotting out September. So please, please keep us in your prayer. Y'all have a great day.